The 12 Days of Christmas, a classic carol that we all know, love, and have no idea what it's about. Which, oddly enough, is the whole point of the song. It was written during the Catholic persecution in England as a code for children to remember their catechism without getting arrested. Here's 10 things, or 12 things, you didn't know about the 12 days of Christmas. Number one, the partridge in a pear tree is the one, the only, the reason for the season, Jesus Christ. Number two, the two turtle doves represent the Old and New Testaments. Another fun fact, Doves are mentioned 46 times in scripture, making them one of the most popular biblical animals. Number three, three French hens. They stand for faith, hope, and love. Don't tell the others, but the greatest of these French hens is love. Number four, the four calling birds are the four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Not to mix metaphors, but you may recall that another tradition pictures these fine riders as a man, lion, ox, and eagle. Number five. Oh, the famed five gold rings. This belted verse recalls the Pentateuch, the Hebrew law, AKA the first five books of the Old Testament. Number six. The six Gisa Lang stand for the six days of creation. Those six figurative days when the whole earth was hatched by God's design. Number seven. Seven swans of swimming should call to mind the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. And just in case you're going on Catholic Jeopardy anytime soon, those would be wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. Number eight. The eight maids of milking represent the eight beatitudes. Those milking maids are poor, mournful, meek, hungry, merciful, clean of heart, peacemakers, and persecuted. But they sure are blessed. Number nine. Nine ladies dancing are cutting a rug because they are filled with the fruits of the Holy Spirit. That would be love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Number 10. The 10 Lords of Leaping are the 10 Commandments. And if you really want to impress your friends at a party, you can refer to them as the Decalogue. Number 11. Can you guess who the 11 Pipers piping are? It's the 11 faithful apostles. Sorry, Judas, but you forfeit your spot in the song when you betray all your friends. Number 12. Finally, those 12 persistent drummers drumming. They symbolize the 12 points of doctrine contained in the Apostles' Creed. It's too long to recite here, but it contains pretty much our whole faith, so it's worth checking out. Well, that's it. Hope you learned a thing or two. Merry Christmas. Check out more Spirit Juice goodness right here.